Alright, hello there guys and welcome back to another uh, Python tutorial. Um, today what we're doing is someone has messaged me on or commented on one of my videos on YouTube. They wanted me to help them with some of their code. Um, so I decided I'd take a look at it. Um, I have it here. Uh, and yeah. First thing I noticed when I looked on, I had a look at it. Uh, these two functions here two functions that he's trying to call are uh, actually two variables that he's defining in this function here uh, therefore they don't need to be called um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment both those out as that throws an error um, next thing I realized um, here he's calling he's using this calculation to get D which is fine um, I think that's getting the domain I'm not quite sure uh, as it's not my code I'm not exactly familiar with what is actually happening I'm just fixing errors um, and I realized down here he's checking a domain or whatever it is against numbers um, and else uh, and he has not defined it in this function um, it does not pass through functions without being global um, and so what I was going to do is I decided to return it return d and I also then came down here and went calc uh, excuse me I'll just turn my phone off um, calc equals as this is passing d out of this function to this calculation whenever this is called so if this is called goes up to here runs through this does this calculation returns d as calc which we then pass into this and we go down to calculation and pass it in with d as it gets par whenever this gets called it passes the variable calc into here which gets passed down to here and is ran in here now something else you might realize is uh, so with the uh, interface I use um, we get these errors showing up with the lines under them um, oh, uh, sorry guys my sound is not turning off. Alright, there we go. Okay, so you get these here where they have a line under them if they're not being um, referenced. So obviously there's no 2b in this function um, as it would be like up here somewhere. Uh, and so it's like, well, what am I supposed to use to calculate this? Um, and this one here is a function. Uh, this function here is called 2a. And so it's saying, well, why are you calling a function without the parentheses? Parentheses, um, and this is not a this is not a number to calculate with. So, go back up here. We want to change the name of this to uh, to a with an underscore, so it removes that error. We also want to change this one here to print with an underscore, so that it doesn't interfere when we're calling um, a print statement. Uh, which is something we had. This also means we have to come down here where it's called and add the underscore <coughs> and then all that will run properly. Now we want to go up to the top here and we want to globalize um, these uh, variables as they aren't being passed in here and it's annoying to pass it in through a return statement um, so it's just easy to do it this way in my opinion. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, might as well just do that and do that and that. So now they're all uh, global variables. They're all being called down here, and so these don't have a problem. Right. So we also need to make this a capital, as um, Dakinda functions all are capitalized. I think I'm pretty sure all of them are as buttons and stuff. And yeah, next I've realized that this formatting here isn't quite right. I'm pretty sure it was throwing out an error earlier. Um, so to fix that, we need to go zero, as that's using the zeroth um, item in the format. And then we need to go one, as everything in Python starts at zero. This also means up here we need to go zero. Um, we can flick this back 
and there's a spelling error here too. Uh, column needs an in. Oh, and we be annoyed by that. All right. So that now should work. Uh, root is not being referenced. There's no no nothing to find what root is. Anyway, um, that's not an issue, I don't think. Right. So we chuck in here. We go two. Five and three. If we go. Uh, ah, we have an error, and I know what it is. All right. So here, I have not changed the name of this variable to that. So it's not calling this function. It's just calling, and it's saying that it can't find a function called that. All right. So two, five, three. As you can see, the equation has two solutions, uh, one negative 1 and negative 1.5. If I go onto my calculator now, if this would turn on, I have a, have a low battery. Uh, okay, so if we go into equations, polynomial, 2 degrees of separation, we go A2, uh, B5, and C3, and we solve that, we get negative 1 and negative 1.5 and that is the same answer as what we're getting in this equation here um, so that is fixed um, I don't think there's really anything else to do I'm not sure if there's any more errors here um, obviously he's probably going to get back to me if there is um, we could also shorten the code as well here to make it smaller on the file um, but yeah um, thanks for watching guys Obviously, if you have any other um, items you would like to see me re review or like um, look at for you guys, then do feel free to leave a comment in the description like this person did. Um, you obviously need to give me the code, probably, or if you want text-based support, tell me what the error message is. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.